My name is Susanna Griga. I'm a Hungarian-based comic astrologer. Um, and I intend to tell you a lot about what this is and how we should interpret terms like karma, astrology, the stars, and our destiny. I was very young when I started dealing with astrology. Actually, my mom was a, uh, not a professional astrologer, someone who was very interested in the stars. And she showed me uh, my own horoscope when I was 12. And I looked at it and I said, this is not mine. Something is weird, something is missing. I couldn't tell what it was. Uh, much, much later on, I realized that uh, the German astrologer who did my chart, I was born in Germany, in Berlin, didn't believe in the existence of Pluto, so she simply left Pluto out, which was conjunct my ascendant. And anyone who has any inkling about astrology knows uh, what a big difference that is. So that, is, that, that uh, experience actually triggered my interest in astrology, and I started looking into it. And soon enough, I realized that if you look at civilization and culture, it is simply intertwined with astrology, even though in the last two, three hundred years, um, the powers that be really wanted us to forget about this, because knowledge is power, and no knowing the stars and knowing the movement of the planets give you, gives you enormous power. So let's look uh, back into history and see how the whole thing started. Uh, it started with an interesting tale that most ancient civilizations and also um, myths record. And this is about an ancient peoples who were very happy on Earth. The Earth was something totally different than what it is today. Uh, there was eternal spring. The people were very, very benign. There was no war. There was no um, famine or hunger or greed. And they just simply lived very happily and uh, they uh, spent their time uh, doing uh, sciences and, and arts. And this was disrupted, this paradise was disrupted by the appearance of a celestial object of, that just appeared out of the blue. Uh, most of the ancient myths describe this object as a, an, uh, as a celestial dragon that threatened to um, completely demolish the, the whole world. And um, according to the myths, uh, a, a hero was chosen who went up and uh, had, had a large bottle, a huge bottle with the, the snake or serpent or dragon. And finally, uh, he uh, managed to uh, succeed in killing the, the, the beast. And uh, the beast fell on earth and there was a huge, huge conflagration something happened, uh, earthquakes and uh, floods uh, demolished what was left and 99% uh, of the people uh, just dis got destroyed in the whole thing. And then finally uh, a small uh, group of people who managed to survive came out and looked up in the sky. They realized with horror that something horrible, horrible happened. The sky was crooked. It, it, it didn't look as it used to. And the sun, which was eternal, which uh, was constant, which always gave the same amount of light, the same amount of heat, all of a sudden started to leave. It got up later and later and went down uh, earlier and earlier. And it got very cold. So the people couldn't find any food. So there was a great famine. And then slowly they realized that their paradise is lost and they had to find a new way of life. They had to care for themselves. They had to um, grow food, raise animals, converse the food. And uh, slowly, in a couple of thousand years, they learned how to manage. It's not a nice story. Uh, the only good part is that they survived and um, by surviving they had a good tool, astrology.